Hi, Gus Silke here. It's now Pentecost Sunday, and we continue our reflections on John Donne and John Donne's legacy as it relates to the lineage of Father Petit. Um, we're here at the uh, Haven Stewardship, which was for many years the home of the peasant of Notre Dame. The peasant was a dear friends with John Donne. They actually, many times with his family, his wife, he would eat here with John Donne. And they would, they would talk about the land and, and history and theology and everything else. And one time the peasant was out for a walk in his land right behind me here. And he came up with a, a reflection on John Donne, on John Donne's thinking, inside of a poem of a, of a number of couplets that I'm going to share with you right now. I think he called it Scribner's Musings, and that is because, uh, as you know, Scribner is John Donne's middle name. Here's the poem. The metaphor is better for unveiling of the mystery, the concept more appropriate when calculating history, which to choose, how to use, perhaps a combination. In any case, let's seek his face, their being, Dasein, our salvation. Thus the peasant of Notre Dame was pondering a, a method in discourse. And uh, as you can see, he poured over his history and mystery, and his Heidegger too, da Dasein, being there. Well, we're here, and I, I was pondering uh, John's life and his journey, uh, especially the, the journey of his last four months, which I spent a lot of time with him in those uh, last four months, and. I was pondering what I could share about that, and this quote from the Mystic Road of Love became very, very significant to me. He says, it is, it is as though every human relationship reaches its climax in friendship, and the essence of friendship is a sharing the deepest longing of the heart and the highest vision of the mind. Um, I just, I just realized I didn't actually hit the, the goal button. So can we? I have to do it again. Yeah, that was a trial run. Can we go ahead and do it again? Yeah. In fact, it might, it might be better this time because I'm, uh, you know, a practice run doesn't hurt on this stuff. Okay. Hold okay. On. Hold on, you know.